Okay, so hi everybody. As you can tell, I am not on site. The restrictions we put in place um, to prevent the, the dig being shut down in the event of COVID have kicked in. One of my students tested positive last week, so unfortunately everybody that was on site in my group in the days that they were there has now had to self-isolate. So to protect the rest of the dig, to keep everyone that's still working hard there safe, we're all now um, self-isolating. Um, Overall, I'm very happy with what my group managed to achieve, uh, my group should I say, um, both of my first year groups and the second year group. Um, we got down to late Roman levels, uh, despite some challenges with modern ploughing, the weather and geology combining to make it quite difficult early on. Um, but the, the stuff we were finding towards the end of the dig, uh, the late Roman ditch, which was very substantial, the cobbled surfaces indicating potential yard or building, um, and the much larger boulder surface that we had all sort of attest that late Roman period activity that was identified in the last excavations at Hez East and we were just getting down onto them when we had to self-isolate so I wish all the best to the neighbouring group that will have been taking those on. Um, in terms of post ex hopefully they'll be able to pick apart some of the nice uh, Roman material culture and tell us um, what those later phases of Roman activity um, were about and the kind of um, phasing within that. We've got a couple of new ditches, so if they are man managed to be excavated this last week, um, we'll hopefully have more of a picture of that very end of the Roman period at Heslington East. But thank you for listening, and I will hopefully see people around. Ah, end of the dig. Um, what have we achieved? Well, uh, we've explored these roundhouses, these overlapping roundhouses and this third roundhouse in quite considerable detail. And um, I suppose the surprising thing to me was that I was expecting at the outset that we'd get masses of finds and we've had really very few finds. So what do we infer from that? Well, I suppose it's just that people kept their houses really clean in this part of the world because, I mean, we do have pottery turning up, both late Iron Age pottery and Roman pottery from other parts of the site. So it's not that they didn't have pottery and so on. Uh, it's just that they're not leaving it hanging around their houses. So in a way that's been disappointing, but also informative. And I think uh, people working in other trenches have got some really fantastic finds out, but had quite structurally simple things. Whereas the issues in this trench have all been about uh, resolving the, the questions around what different structures were doing. So it's been, a, it's been really challenging. Um, challenging because of the weather, challenging because of COVID, but also it's been genuinely challenging archeology. span So I think uh, the students who've worked in this trench have done, all of them, done a really fantastic job. And uh, well, we've got some unresolved questions, I guess, but that's that's the nature of archaeology, really. Uh, we've left some bits unexcavated and those will be available for people to come back to in future years. Who knows, maybe even us. So that's it. Goodbye from Heslington East 2021.